coffee creamer. <laughs> it's like they knew I was coming. And protein drinks. My son just ran out of his protein drinks. <laughs> Seriously. Ah! Welcome to the Frugal Family. My name is Julie, also known here on YouTube for over seven years as the Frugal Mama. The dumpsters, you guys, I have not been feeling well this week, fighting a sinus cold, and the dumpsters, they were like, we've got you, Julie. Just get out there. Get over here. We've got you. Let me show you. <laughs> there might be some goodies in that bag right there. Let's see if I can reach it with the grabber. No, let's just use the rake. Why waste time? Ah, the grass is on top, but just a minute, guys. Gotta have a tote, guys. <sighs> okay, that's all. Definitely some Easter stuff. Some kind of straws. Let's go home and see what we've got. cold today so I feel okay about grabbing these. We've had snow, we've had ice. Oh damn it. Oops. Take a couple of these almond milks. This out before it gets too heavy. Oh, that's heavy. Forgot to put the step ladder in the van. I even had it ready to go. Oh well. Okay. Grab a couple more.
Is that a coffee creamer? I really need to tighten the grips on my grabber. Dump these into the tote. Oh, my arms are so weak. today I will tighten the grips on the grabber because this is ridiculous are done pretty much let's try the other hand to see if I can for the new viewers you might not know that I have pretty severe arthritis so we're just gonna do what we can do to do it you guys that is what uh, what I can manage all right here we go this is French vanilla coffee creamer we've got uh, caramel latte rockin protein energy by shamrock farms these are limited edition birthday cake milks, which is so perfect because it's my birthday week, frugal friends. Yes, it is. We've got a couple of di uh, Blue Diamond Almonds Almond Breeze. Lulu will be happy about that. She drinks that. Some more of the, uh, these are, what are these? Strawberry. And like I said, my son, he is uh, drinking protein drinks now. And so he'll be thrilled. Kitty, it's not for you, baby. Not for you this time. Uh, these ones, let's see, that's chocolate. That's caramel latte. Okay, that's awesome. Two packages of Oscar Mayer Deli Oven Roasted Turkey Breast Browned with Caramel Color. The date on them, March 19th, 2024. Those will be just fine. Uh, we will go through the dollar store stuff here in a minute. Some Truly Moo-licious uh, oh, and they were doing a 50% off deal on food and candy beverage. Hmm, good to know. Anyway, chocolate milk, another of the chocolate, birthday cake, chocolate. This one is vanilla, caramel latte. Let's put them together. Let's like be organized. Here we go. Caramel latte, strawberry, chocolate. Birthday cake, birthday cake, strawberry, uh, vanilla go there, 
Lots of strawberry. This is another coffee creamer. Peppermint mocha. Love it. Some more peppermint mocha. And these, um, they have really long expiration dates. This says uh, 2 10 24. I'm not at all worried about that. Um, what about this one? 3 27 24. Okay, so that's this week. So that's kind of weird. That <laughs> makes me a little nervous that these ones, they expired last month. And they're just now getting thrown out. Pay attention when you're grocery shopping. Frugal friends, look at the dates. Because, <laughs> yeah, anyway, chocolate, wait, chocolate, birthday, uh, caramel latte. I wonder if my son will like the caramel latte. He's not a coffee person, so I don't know. Anyway, if he doesn't want them, I'm sure someone else in the house will. Vanilla, strawberry, strawberry. Oh, this is different, though. These are protein builders. This is just a regular strawberry milk. Mmm, yummy. And chocolate. So if I would have had with me my stepladder, ah, so frustrated with myself, I would have been able to get more. Plus I needed another empty tote. These are things to think about. Today, today, I will put them in the van. This way we don't go through this again and end up missing out on some more. Also, my poor hands, I had a really deep, intense massage treatment done on them day before yesterday and we're still not quite recovered. So I'm just grateful for what I was able to do. Be grateful for everything that you're able to save. I know that we have lots of people on this channel that also live with limitations. So show yourself some grace and just be grateful and happy about what you're able to do and work within your own limits. Okay, I'm gonna get all this put away in the fridge and then we're checking out that guy. Okay, now I would have liked to have done this outside, but it's really cold, which I mean is a good thing because we found all that milk and we're able to save it, but not so good for doing this outside. You know what I mean? All right, we have an Easter basket it is broken right there. Do you know what I'm gonna do with this and this part is broken? I am going to use some of our Timu, Temu, uh, flour, styrofoam stuff, and a bunch of our dumpster salvage uh, artificial flowers, and I'm going to make this into a really fabulous Easter setup and take it this weekend to my daddy's grave. That's what I'm doing with that. Then, oh, we've got some leftover Valentine's cards. Look how cute this kitty with the free kisses. Oh, that's so cute. That is adorable. Then we've got a puppy and some happy heart day. That's cute. Oh, speaking of kitties, kitty is ringing the bell. I gotta go let her out. Oh, she's such a good kitty. All right, we have, oh, poor thing. Um, <laughs> a Rice Krispies crispy milk chocolate and cereal beheaded bunny. We will use that chocolate in some cookies. No problem. Then we have, oh, sad. This was a ceramic painting set probably an animal. We will salvage the paints. We have a bunny headband. If the other bunny, look how happy, if the other bunny is in here, then we will fix it. If not, the headband, we can add to our headbands. We get all of our headbands these days from the dumpsters and use them for assorted headband crafting, especially like making Disney ears, Mickey ears for like Disney trips. And the bunny can absolutely be salvaged and go into the crafting supplies. Then, we have a broken mug. And <laughs> what do we have here? Another broken mug full of eggs, which is perfect because we are going to a family Easter egg hunt this weekend, as I know a lot of us are. And we will use those. And look how cute with the flowers. We will use those for that. There are also some uh, like ornament ones. There's some water in here. Um, and another egg will dry those out. Yikes. Hey, it's the dumpsters. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna find stuff like that. It's perfectly fine. Another egg. Then we've got, oh, there's the package of the, the foam egg ornaments. Love the sparkles. Then we have another broken mug. Another broken mug. Ooh, is there a bunny? There is a bunny. Oh, how perfect. Okay, so I don't know if it goes to this one. Or if there's like a purple one in here, maybe, we'll see. But if not, hey, that's gonna work a treat. Then, oh good, more of these plastic eggs. 
Then we've got some Easter signage. These got pretty wet. I don't, I don't know that I can salvage them because they're not actual wood. They're just like paper board stuff. Then we have a frame. The glass is broken, but I'm gonna take the frame itself. Then we have strawberry slurpers. Is it open? Don't worry, I'm gonna wash my hands. I know I should have brought in another glove. I didn't. My apologies. That is a no-no, but I'm grabbing stuff out here. <laughs> here I am, rationalizing and explaining my bad behavior. I apologize, but I am gonna grab the stuff out with a glove. This is not open. I don't know if it maybe had something else with it that is missing and maybe that's why they threw it away. No idea. Then some more eggs, a lollipop, that's gross. So foam egg, plastic egg, we will absolutely use those. All of our plastic eggs, the last like 10 years, have of course been from the dumpsters and we reuse them and reuse them and reuse them until they are just absolutely dead. Some more of the foam eggs, some fabulous chain. They use this in the dollar store for displays. They'll like hook stuff on there, you know? And we use it for all kinds of crafting and anyway, good stuff. Definitely grab that if you see it. It's very, very usable. More of the foam Easter eggs. What else? Another. Then another Easter sign. Yeah, it, it got really wet. That's unfortunate. Let's see. Would love to find any more of the plastic eggs because we will definitely use them. Uh, one of these horrid things. This one still lights up. Maybe we can uh, take out the light inside and use it. If you've been with us <coughs> for a long, long time, you'll know that I hate these. I hate them. We find them in the dollar store dumpsters and used to find them when we had access to party store dumpsters. And they are just the most atrocious impulse buys. They're, they're horrible. You can't recycle them. They don't last very long. They get dirty and faded in no time. These need to stop. They just need to stop. Anyway, those are my thoughts on those. I have thought that and felt that way for a very long time and it's a thought that is not going to change. Then what do we have here? A little tote, very similar to the totes that I have in our first floor bathroom. Those ones are white and those ones are all from salvaged from the uh, public school dumpsters. Stay tuned, public school dumpster diving coming soon. You are going to be amazed. There's, oh, how cute is this? Okay, that is adorable. They are some uh, floral garden artificial eggs. Missing one, but those are adorable. Those are super cute. We will just add them to our crafting supplies. Not sure what I will do with them. This is missing its handle. If it's in here, I will attempt to repair it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it just needs to be stuck back in. Like, I don't know if my arthritic cans can do it, but I know my husband or one of the kids can. So that is absolutely going to be repaired and we will be using that. All of our plastic baskets, totes, totes, they all come from the dumpsters. What is this? Oh, some balloon straws. I think that's what they are. Am I right? I think so, yeah, because those are to hold balloons. Again, <laughs> it's my birthday week. We just might, maybe we will. I'll see if I get around to it. I have a lot going on and I haven't been feeling well. Uh, and also Olivia, oh my God, she's doing road range, whatever thing this week. She passed her driver's ed and this week is doing range at like zero in the morning. It is killing me. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get around to doing this for myself. And these are totally reusable again and again and again and again. So we will add them to our party supplies. Then, you know, this is actually not too bad. It got a little bit wet, but this would not be bad for storage in the attic of our notebooks. I'll think about it. We'll put it over here, let it dry out. We'll see. Then, oh, another foam egg. Glittery, fabulous. Is there anything else? We don't want to miss it. What is this? Oh, some lollipops. Individually wrapped lip pops. Lip, uh, okay. Lip pops, lollipops with a bunny on them. 
Those can go in our Easter egg hunt. They are individually wrapped. Nothing wrong with them at all. Sorry, you guys keep getting bumped. This tripod is like too close to the table. My apologies. Make sure we're not missing anything else at all. Okay, that looks like it's it. Yeah, I think so. Okie dokie, that is it. Holy cow, I am thrilled with the goodies that we found in this just one goodie bag. And I will keep you apprised of how we end up using them. Saving and salvaging isn't just about getting the stuff out of the dumpster and the excitement of seeing what you've found. Then you have to do something with it. Stay tuned, frugal friends, for the freezer clean out. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you are subscribed. We are out here, we are doing it. Even when I'm sick, which is a lot of the time, we are not letting it stop us, not anymore. Not anymore, broken, sick, weather, whatever. We are getting out here, we are doing what we need to do to finally <laughs> get back on track and hit our goal this year of 100,000 subscribers. Hey, we've been on here for over seven years, it's time. This is the year. I hope you are part of making it happen. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. We'll see you all real soon.